In this video, we are going to see an example. First of all, let's have a look at the example, which is an HTML example 14 in package dual stamping operation. Stamping needs 8 to 14 seconds to complete the operation. When the package arrives in exact place, which is IN001, is activated and stops the conveyor. The end is stamped for 8 seconds, which is the output M, and the top end for 14 seconds, which is the output N. Turning off IN001 releases the package and moves forward with the conveyor. Now let's Head over to the open PLC editor and try to construct the letter diagram for a given problem. I need to create a new project and to do that I will press Ctrl N. Then I will click on to create a new folder and I will name the folder as Industrial example 14, and I will select the folder, change the language to the letter diagram, and then I'm going to add two power rails. one on the left side and one on the right side. Then I'm going to add some variables here. My first variable is going to be the start. Then stop then M naught M one and M two I N double O one output M and output N. Now I'm going to add the contact here, which is the start. And in series, the stop, which is normally closed, and in parallel, I won't let the memory bit zero to make it a push button. Then I'm going to add a coil. The M naught and then on to my second rung. I will latch on to the memory bit zero and in series another normally close contact which is M1. I will adjust it is block size. Then I'm going to join these pins. And in parallel, 
I will use the M2. And on the right side, I'm going to add a coil, which will be the conveyor. Now I need to add coil, which is the conveyor. Now there seems to be a spinning mistake. Let me just clear it. I will adjust the block size, then join these pins on the both sides. Then onto my third one, I will add a contract here. is normally open contact and a coil On the right side, then I'm going to join these pins on the both sides onto my next rung. I will assess the block size. Then I need a block here from the standard function blocks. And on the right side, a coil output M then I need to add a variable here for my preset time which is eight seconds. Then onto my next rung, the contact, which is IN001. We just copy and paste. timer here then add a coil output n adjust the size 
and join these pins. Then I'm going to add the variable. for 14 seconds and then onto my last rung Then a coil on the right side join these pins as you can see that now I have completed the letter diagram. Now I will click on to the simulation The simulation is complete. I will click on the deeper instance, drag this up. Now, when I push through or when I push the button here, the conveyor will start and the box will come close. To the IN001, which is a sensor, when the sensor will send the box, it will go through, which will in turn stop the conveyor and the output M and output N will start working. And then when these two which means the output M and output N is complete, then the conveyor will start again and the sensor will go false. And then the again box, then again the sensor will sense another box and it will go through and the output M and N will be true and the conveyor will stop. When these two processes are done, the conveyor will start again and the sensor will go false. And the stop will be used to stop this whole situation or the process. With this, our video ends here. Thank you for watching the video.